Okay, spoiler warning before we get into any of it. If you're listening to this and you haven't watched Stranger Things, go out, watch it. It's good. I'm telling you right now. You know what? It still like makes me laugh, Will's brother. I'm sorry, there's something wrong with that dude's face. Oh, Jonathan, yeah, he looks like fucking Michael Jackson, like in the middle of getting the operations to make him white. I don't know what it is. I think it, like, maybe he's it's British. His <laughs> eyes are really close together and yeah. squinty. Yeah. He's so, a little TikTok. And yeah, he looks a little TikTok for yeah. sure. Hey Twitter world. Don't pet the llama. A pan gender octopus who roams the cosmos in search of love. I'm never gonna look at butt plugs the same. Apparently, ducks are rapists. I'm really uncomfortable with this conversation. Till Death Podcast. Brought to you by Till Death Studios and Violent Vibe Tribe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Till Death Podcast. My name's Ian. And I'm Jennifer. Jennifer. This, Being this different. Week, <laughs> she has multiple personalities, and uh, she is Jennifer this week. Um, it's mostly turd is the known one. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. Uh, before we get into it, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and follow, all that good stuff. Go to solo.to slash Till Death Podcast for all uh, all of our links um go to till uh, b bit.ly slash till death podcast merch and uh go check out our merch um we just turned the channel about a week ago into the till death podcast network so because we have another it's podcast fancy now i know the exactly network. I feel like, hmm. <laughs> you're uh, a network executive <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, executive producer, you know, uh, but no, uh, cause we have another podcast, um, that I do with, uh, our buddy, Sean, uh, well, my buddy, I guess he's not really your buddy yet, but, um, yeah, we're, we, uh, we're doing the whiskey capitalist podcast, which has been picking up pretty well. And, uh, we do live streams twice a week. We do a Twitter, a live Twitter space on Mondays. So, uh, that's pretty fun. And, uh, that's, that's going to be more of the political stuff, uh, there. Man so speak. it's not as much here <laughs> cause, uh, she gets, ooh, there's an ant. Um, so, cause she gets, you know, like brain and ears yeah, shut off. Yeah, I can only handle like a little bit yeah. of the politics and then I'm like, hmm, shutting down. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to talk about transgenders and, um, there you go. and movies. Triggering topics. Yes, exactly. Um, but, uh, which I guess that's kind of political, but yeah. you know, just the funny stuff. Um, so yeah, so make sure you go check out all that. Um, they're on our channel too. Go like and subscribe, all that. And uh, solo.to slash the whiskey capitalist and bit.ly slash the whiskey capitalist merch. Um, I think I think that, that covers the socials. Um, so we have finally gotten through Stranger Things. Uh, everything that's... I wouldn't, you know, you, you're saying finally gotten through it, making it seem like it took us forever. It well, was a pretty quick watch. Well, it was a quick watch, but finally meaning we finally caught on to the show. Like, we finally started watching... The when, show that started in, what, 2016? 2016, yeah, exactly. Everyone's been watching and talking about it. I've heard about what the upside down is and what all this and, you know, I literally had things. heard no one talking about really? it until my coworker Diane mentioned, I'm surprised you haven't watched it because she's like, it's totally up your alley. It's all horror and everything. I'm like, what? And yeah. then it intrigued well, me. Well, I had heard about it a bunch of times and swiped through it. And, like, I know we had, like, talked about, like, oh, you want to watch Stranger Things? And you're like, ah, I don't know. And so, like, and then, I, you know, I, I like to watch you shows know, with you. You know why? Why? Because I knew it was a show primarily about uh, kid or, like, kids were, like, the leading roles. Yeah. And I immediately thought back to uh, The Walking Dead um World, oh, world, world beyond, beyond yeah, how fucking, shitty that show was. Those fucking the annoying uh, little woke kids. Yeah, the little woke kids, and I'm like, oh god, it's gonna <sighs> be another corduroy, <laughs> another show like that. So that's why I was turned <sighs> off by it. But I'm glad we gave it a shot. <laughs> exactly. Um, so no, but Stranger Things is um, might be one of the best horror shows it's, it's out. done well because yeah. I I like more um, like suspenseful type horror stuff mm -hmm. not necessarily like blood and guts and things Which, like that there's that's, plenty of that yeah like I'm I'm not really like 
that's not my forte, but yeah. um, this good like it's if it has some yeah. good jump scenes in it for sure yeah and it does and okay spoiler warning before we get into any of it if you're listening to this and you haven't watched stranger things go out watch it it's good i'm telling you right now okay my dad does not like horror um movies or shows at all and we showed him the first five ten five, minutes ten minutes well, up until the first time the the title sequence of the first episode, and he was like, okay, I'm going to go get Netflix again, and I'm going to watch this. You get hooked on it. Because, yeah. like, literally it draws you in. There was not one episode, I was telling him this, there was not one episode that we watched where we weren't just like, There was, like, a, fuck. I will say there's probably, like, one or two where I was like, okay. You mean in season three? Yeah. Season three. I, if Okay, none of the show is trash, but if I was going to represent any of the seasons as trash, season three, like... But but then again, season three had some really cool concepts and some really cool I, things. I in really it. do think we're gonna have to rewatch it. Yeah. As much as I I don't like rewatching stuff like immediate like that. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at them. Yeah. I'm saying like. I'm trying to get sympathy for how <sighs> ridiculous that statement is. Why? <laughs> okay, because I just saw it. I like to be surprised with new content. So yeah. why am I gonna rewatch something immediately after I just watched it? The reason it? why is because. If you rewatch it, then you then you get things that you missed that you're like, oh, this is why that happens then. Okay. Like, okay, in the very beginning, when Will is in the when Will is loading up the little shotgun BB gun or whatever, mm-hmm. and then he's standing there like staring at the door, and the thing rises up behind him. I didn't see that the first time. Okay, I didn't, and so when I watched it again, I was like, oh shit, this is the fucking oh, that's Demogorgon. That's why like, you were little, like, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that, yeah, so I'm trying to. Involve you in the amazingness and, and, that I see. Well, and to be fair, I didn't remember him actually trying to make a phone call. I guess he was trying to call 911. Yeah. And then... <laughs> like that it went I know it's cool. Well, knowing the show now, yeah. the things that we probably saw but never picked up on mm-hmm. were all the flashing lights or the yep. flickering lights. Like in that very first scene when all the flashing... When I and said... Because yeah. you, you ha- we had no idea what to expect. Was yeah. this an actual... Like your dad was like, oh, alien. But we didn't say anything so we didn't yeah. want to like... Yeah lead him in that direction yeah um but it was like yeah is it alien uh is it like, like ghosts yeah, is it like paranormal is, stuff what is it like yeah. and so you don't know and so you, you just think general scary movie like think yeah. resident evil yeah okay and so that totally set it up dark kind of dark hallway yeah lights flickering yeah and so that you just think it just goes with the scariness but yeah. the lights flickering actually had a major thing to do with with the whole story, but then, see exactly. Now you're making the point that I made to you. <laughs> <laughs> you got proof. I mean, you guys see that I make good points and the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anyways, no. okay, okay. So no, really good fucking show. Uh, the first season was amazing. There was like, there really wasn't anything about that. For okay, Winona Ryder was annoying as fuck for about four seconds because she was pissed off at Hopper just trying to help. Yeah. Like, like there was one thing after, re- cause I've been rewatching it to try and get more notes to take down for our live stream. Mm-hmm. So Wednesday, August 31st, if this comes out before then, then go join the live stream. But if this comes out after it, well go and watch the replay. Um, <laughs> the whiskey capitalists were doing a, um, uh, stranger things, like review of like, all the seasons and everything breakdown. more in depth. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, I made a cool little, uh, made a cool little intro sequence thing right here, and That's I'm probably awesome. gonna play it right here. Okay, yeah, so that was fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but yeah, no, I'm. we're doing that on Wednesday, August 31st, and we're going to go through all of it. But um, You should actually make that into a shirt, to be honest. The, the Whiskey Capitalist podcast? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely thinking about that. Um, I think I, did I write that down on our little, on our little thing? No, I didn't. But uh, yeah, it's. The black, the red, yeah, it's kind of it, cool. It's 
Yeah, you know, it's it's definitely uh, definitely appealing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, where was I fucking going with that? Oh, just watch more oh, detail with doing the yeah the doing lobster. the rewatch of it. I've been trying to do the rewatch so I can take some notes for it and everything. But um, yeah, there was a scene. I think it was like in the sep- seven the second episode where uh, Hopper is over at. Um, at Joyce's house or at Winona Ryder's house. Yeah. And like, oh, hey, what's going on with the dog? And she goes, oh, he's probably just hungry. And I was like, why are you going to be all snappy? He's just trying to figure out what's going on with him while he's barking at some shit. Like, you try to look for your fucking kid. Like, yeah, but she's also distraught. Exactly. So. so, like, it's that, like, why are you going to be a bitch? But then... <sighs> and you know what? It still, like, makes me laugh, Will's brother. I'm sorry. There's something wrong with that dude's face. Oh, Jonathan? Yeah, he looks like fucking Michael Jackson, like, in the middle of getting the operations to make him white. I don't know what it is. I th- it's the it, nose. Like, maybe it's He's British. His eyes are really close together and yeah. squinty. Yeah. He's so, a little TikTok. And yeah, he looks a little TikTok for yeah. sure. And, and I don't know, there's something. So remember, I'm still sticking to my original uh, comment with he's a combination of all the actors in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. <laughs> so you look, I still, yes. look at... Uh, so, who are the three? It's Johnny Depp, right? Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, As and the then... TikTok. Yeah. He plays a good TikTok. Yeah, he does. Okay, so, Leo, and then who's the third? I don't know that guy's name. I don't either. So, all three of them? Who is it? That's sad. Yeah. We should know who it is. Yeah. It's I've, someone popular. I've only seen... I've seen it, like, twice or three times. Oh, what's really funny about that movie, talking about scroll moment, because I'm good at this. Yes. Uh, so I had no idea, like, one of the reasons why their family was always made fun of is because their mom was obese, like, my 600-pound life. Is it Crispin Glover? I have no idea who that is. That, that guy? Wait. That guy? Was uh, it him as a kid? Uh, uh, no. No? Not him as a kid? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> It's uh, he was he was in the movie. He's so. in the movie, but that's not one of the kids. Okay, what were so, his answer? Yeah, he's definitely that that Jonathan's face is definitely a combination of all. Okay, them. my and my take on that is I think Jonathan looks like uh, the son from Nip Tuck. Yeah. The weird. <sighs> uh, yeah, I can kind of see it. Yeah. But um, so I know your favorite character is Dustin. Dustin and then Steve. Which I didn't like Which for the we, first we six episodes. We discussed this. So yeah. I absolutely love what they did with his character development. Yeah. Because uh, like they said, they were planning to do is make him hated. Yeah. And, and they were going to kill him off. Yeah. And they did a good job at doing that. But there was still moments of... Good. Um, in, like, yeah. Because yeah. like, like, I you mean... You saw he was, like specs of it. He was kind of a douche. But the, he was just like your kind of typical high school dude trying to get laid. Like that yeah. was his whole thing. And then it was but just even, his buddy. Those oh the, yeah, those those two fucking. Oh my knuckles. god, I wanted to punch that guy in the face. But even when he was like with Nancy up in up in her room or whatever, he wasn't a like a pushy dick. He was just kind of like putting the moves on kind of thing. He wasn't really like. But it's weird. I bet if we take a look at that again mm-hmm. and then see how he is with the scoops troop. Totally different. Oh yeah. Oh, completely. <laughs> um, no, but uh, and then, but then he was an he was an asshole to Jonathan. Uh, but Jonathan was kind of creepy too, taking pictures of them all in, all by the pool. Like I don't know. That was a creep factor right there. Oh yeah, exactly. And uh, I I understand. He played the role of every creepy leering dude in yeah. every movie. The where Tom. it's like yeah. But, but I, I, okay, so it's one of those things where it's like, it's nuanced. It's like, I understand that, I understand why Jonathan was there because he was trying to take pictures of where Will was and was he was just out in the middle of nowhere. And he's like, oh, these are interesting pictures. But then it, he took it a little, he took it far. There's one thing to just stop, stop taking pictures and to be watching. Yeah. But he continued to watch and take pictures. Okay, so it's like the only peeping one Tom that, thing. The only one that was bad, it was of her in the room taking her shirt off. That's the only, all the other ones were, they were just kids fucking jumping in a pool. Yeah, but he needed to stop at that. Yeah, exactly. And then he's like, 
I'm going to watch them get it on. He's not getting laid. He needs some spank bank material. Like, come on. I'm not saying that I would do what? that. Nancy but. looks like a, a four-year-old boy's body. <laughs> yeah, she's got like the little... She, I got bigger titties than she does. She's tiny. Yeah. She's like, like, I don't even know how short she is. <laughs> Linda height. Damn. But narrow. Yeah. You mean like a regular person just her height. Okay. Uh <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, inside joke, guys. Uh, but anyways, no. So, and then he, Steve was an asshole, you know, doing the whole, you know, Nancy's a slut, you know, whatever, you know, all that spray yeah, paint and all that. Yeah, but he immediately was like... And he, this is he, fucked up. Yeah. And he, he went back. Like, and he, immediately. Yeah. And then he got in the fight. And then, yeah, he went back to the movie theater. He was like, hey, you need a hand. And they're like, didn't you have something to do with it? He's like, I just want to make it right. It was like, okay, so cool. So he like, immediate he, redemption on yeah. that. Yeah, and so, um, and then, so that, I, I think I talked to you about this, but that end scene where he comes over to uh, Jonathan, you know, the buyer's house with mm-hmm. Nancy, and he shows up, and, you know, he, he has his face all beaten in because his friend, you know, whatever. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, and they're trying to find, they're trying to have the demo. Uh, Oh, that's right. They're trying to have the Demogorgon come to the house, and so they cut their hands to make for blood, and his <laughs> face has blood on it. Yeah. Like, so it's that, like, oh, Steve's going to die. Like, when I first, when I oh, saw yeah. it, like, Steve's going to die. Well, originally, um, they were going to have Steve killed off before that episode, in like, in the original script. They were going to have Steve killed off, and the person that was going to come to the house uh, was going to be a redemption arc was going to be Lonnie, Jonathan's yeah, dad. which made no sense to me because they really didn't, like, Set up filter. His character. Yeah, like, I didn't, I, like, was so neutral about him. I was just like, eh. Yeah, I like, was like, oh, you're. Why are we introducing him? He's He was pointless. Yeah, exactly. He really was. Yeah, you know, it's just setting up how, you know. No one cares about dads and kids' lives anymore. Um, <laughs> Not him and his new slut girlfriend. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna trade you in for the for the newer model. Yeah, like, oh, this the fuck. That's it's how the you 80s. know. That's how you know that you got trailer trash. Yeah, it was the '80s. Uh, but um, no, but I mean, okay, well, favorite, we need to rewatch it. We need to rewatch it. But uh, recalling through the four seasons is yes. maybe a little difficult at this time to figure out, but. What would be your one of your leading or most favorite scenes? Um, a little tough, right? A little tough. I liked the. Um, do I have my no? Can okay, my ringers off? Um, I don't know, man. Like there were so many cool scenes. Um, oh, season four when she gets when she's. Uh, the Chrissy, the cheerleader, when she goes up into the fucking air for the first time and her fucking ar- her legs break and her jaw goes that that I right was, there was like fuck. Dude. I was not expecting not that. At all. I didn't think we and were gonna get eyes. to that level. And I'm like, <sighs> okay, that's cool. Yeah. That, uh, what about I, you? For me, it was the moment we connected the dots and when we found out who uh, who the bad guy was throughout. Vecna. The, Vecna. The, 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 was Henry. Was and, literally yeah. number one. Yep. So finding that out, because I literally thought the whole point of yeah. them capturing Eleven again and they hear and go through yeah. all of the past stuff was just for her to regain her strength and her yeah. powers. That's all I thought it was. But like then you re- find out Realize, Dean, like, yeah. this is what you did and what you're capable of and bring that power back. Yeah. But then when we, when we find out, just like she finds out that she did not kill those people. Yeah, which was cool because then it, there's not so much on her character. The on her only conscience. people she did kill were the guards yeah. that were outside her door. Yeah, which, but yeah, she was in like a broom closet. Yeah, exactly. There were okay. There were a couple of things about season one where I was like, okay, you're gonna teach this fucking, you're gonna teach this little girl how to move shit with her mind, but you're not gonna teach her to speak in basic fucking sentences. It was definitely uh, <laughs> reminding me of the trash lady on Walking Dead. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, what was her fucking name? Oh my gosh, uh, fucking Mildred or some fucking weird shit like that. Um, I don't her know. real name was Anne. Yeah. Like her, you know, throughout her life through the story. But what was it? Fuck. I don't know. Anyways, but her. I'm like, I was just really, like, really. Why are we? Why are we? And it, Papa and, it, and promise. And it's so weird. Lie. Like, 
how you leave certain filler words out yeah. if you can't speak properly. Yep. But I guess it was when like you Kevin think of, in the office. Well, yeah, but I guess you think of like somebody who their native language is in English yeah. and they're trying to um, communicate with you. They're yeah. only saying like the main words. What, but what what I thought was funny is like you saw Want Mike ice cream now. <laughs> you, you saw you saw Mike in real time learn what it's like to be in relationship with a woman. Because he said, so you're going to go around to the front and my mom's going to, you're going to ring the doorbell and my mom's going to know exactly what to do. And she goes, no. He's Wait, like, what? Okay, when when she first comes into the house and she's living under the little table and has a little sheet yeah. or whatever and she and it's the next day and their oh, whole plan yeah. was to have her go outside around the back and ring the doorbell and then he was like, and then we would have to like re-meet meet again. And then he, she goes, no. And he goes, no, <sighs> no. And then, God damn, okay. Well, you can see think about like, it. Fuck. Think about it. Like, she just came from being no, this I, prisoner. I know. It, you know, oh, just, but just, it, him. just as a funny joke. He's, like, he's just kind of like, shit. Like, I can't sit. I thought it was crazy, like, how how much older everyone looked so quickly well, throughout those. Co- the COVID stuff. So, but yeah, but it was only 2016, 2016 to... 2022. 20, well, because it came oh, out this year. Season four came out this year. But I was like, damn, so they look like way different. 2015 to 2021, because that's when they were shooting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. So, I mean, you know, but coming from like 12 or, you know, 11 yeah, or I guess 12. That's right and when you. Yeah, there's so much growth, you know, go through your awkward stage and whatever. Talk about awkward stage, fucking will. 11 pretty much stayed the same yeah. throughout. To me, she didn't look much different. No, it's like um, her her face, her head just, you know what I mean? Her features grew, but her face really stayed the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but Will, Will looked more and more gay each <laughs> gay. season. and uh, Which is fine. Whatever, but just admit it. They you needed know? to not have the Beatles haircut on that poor guy. He, okay, the amount of... Dude, uh, he had the worst haircut. His he mom, looks like a penis. Yeah, he had the Karen of the, of the 70s yeah. look. Uh, okay, another scene that got me to... Another couple scenes that got me too were in season four uh, with Max uh, being like you know hoisted up when mm-hmm. she's in Vecna's little and we don't you know, know what's going to happen to her. Uh, no, the first time oh. when she when she dropped out of it when she's fucking running you know trying to go go towards the towards opening. the hole. Uh, <laughs> Like when she goes and she grabs and rips this fucking little neck thing off and like, oh shit! And like, how I didn't even know you could fucking do that. Like, like oh his little yeah, well, thing? yeah, well because she's like all hung up on the wall right there and she just fucking grabs it and pulls it off and then starts yeah. running and then it plays that Kate Bush song again. Uh, yeah, that song's uh, annoying. Uh, I I think it works for the show because uh, the show's weird and like synthesizers and everything, so yeah. I think it worked. But um. Uh, and now I can't hear that song without thinking of Stranger Things in that scene. But um, I thought that was kind of a cool scene. And I was like, okay, cool. She's good. Like, she's a little f- more fucked up in the head. But, like, um, and then the last scene when they're in the thing and she actually, you know, breaks a leg and whatever. When she f- when she first broke that leg, I was like, oh, shit, dude. Like, she's like, dead. Really? Yeah. But then the fact that uh, they don't know that Eleven was there, like... But in her mind, you know what I mean? So I wonder what she did. So her power, she was able to restart her heart, essentially, because uh, what's his name? Mm -hmm. The the boyfriend was like, she was dead for over a minute. Yeah. And then she came back to life. Yeah. So I don't know. I I don't know if they they figured that it was 11, but they, I mean. I'm sure they're. They kind of had had, some sort of They had no idea that 11 was there. Yeah. Because 11 was like. Piggybacking is what she yeah, called it. Crazy. Like, yeah. it's a total mind trip. Yeah. I, I don't Could care. you imagine, I'm, like, if you were on shrooms watching that show? No, I'm good. Whoa. I'm good. <laughs> Talk about bad trip and it because, you know, Ugh. those trips stay with you. I you know. know what I mean? So, like, I forever, know. like, oh my God, there's fucking. I mean, I watched Lord of the Rings. Okay. So, so. I'm going to restart these uh, cameras real quick and then we'll do a little bit more on that and then we'll go yeah. on to something else. Cool. All right. Hold on. And uh, here's an ad. Being comfortable with violence is a must nowadays. Whether it's in a parking lot, a store, at school, church, Kenosha, uh, car lot, 
Middle one, of the two, and three. Yeah. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, if you're faced with Cuatro, violence, cinco, you got... cinco, seis. <laughs> <laughs> wow, offspring. Yeah. That's the loudest concert I've ever been to, actually. Oh, okay. Which is kind of... Exhale the ombre, favorite album. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Pretty fly for a half-white guy. Uh, if you're faced with violence, be calm, be confident, and be comfortable. Uh, from the mat to the field, in comfort, there is confidence. Have both... With Violent Vibe Tribe. We gotta figure out this little ad read a little bit. We gotta, gotta work it around. But basically, you gotta have that violent vibe about you. You gotta, it doesn't mean be violent towards people. You just know that you always gotta be prepared. Be prepared. Keep uh, on, your, on your toes. Be like Rittenhouse. Keep your eyes peeled. I never got that. Uh, terms peeled. This is like, uh, like onions. Open. Oh, yeah. But is that peeled? It's not like you're. Not uh, peeled back, I guess. I don't know. Uh, basically, just always know your surroundings. Always know what's going on, because especially nowadays with all the stuff going on, there's you know, shit can just shit can pop off, man, and shit can get crazy, and you could find yourself at a Travis Scott concert, um, or hanging out with Alec Baldwin. Um, but anyways, go check out violentvibetribe.com uh, and use the promo code TD20 for 20% off your entire order. And uh, Till Death Studios and Violent Vibe Tribe are going to be uh, doing a sweet collab um, on a little sticker pack. So uh, stay tuned on all that, and I'll definitely be uh, blasting, finger blasting the... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going with guns. Damn it. You're a little slow over there. Try it, you ignorant slut. Um, yeah, but uh, make sure you check out all that, and we're going to be doing that sticker pack, and so check out all the uh, all the social medias for all that info. And uh, speaking of social medias, at violent underscore vibe underscore tribe um, to go like and share and subscribe and follow them and diddle them, you know, all the things. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, go go check them out. Again, Violent Vibe Tribe, make sure you uh, keep your eyes peeled. You're... Try to relax your anus. Be a banana. <laughs> a banana. <laughs> Do you remember that video? <laughs> no. Oh, I have so many good things to share. <laughs> Um, yeah, so go check it out, and, uh, yeah, and Nick Wright also is the owner of the company, so, and he's been on our, um, on our podcast a couple times, so go check out one of the, uh, one of the episodes. Later! All right, welcome back to the show, guys. Okay, so we're gonna finish up this Stranger Things thing. Okay, mm-hmm. so, um, uh, again, I don't know why you would be watching all of this if you haven't seen Stranger Things yet, but... Okay, so. Or maybe this will prompt people to go and want exactly. to watch it. And hopefully you're watching this after you have already gone through and watched all of it. Okay. So, uh, season five is getting shot in the next couple of months. It starts shooting, is what they've said. Starting shooting? Yeah, so we might not even get it next year. Oh, my God. I thought we were going to see it in the fall. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? So that's why... Well, they just came out with the last two episodes of season four in July. I can't wait that long. So, so us talking about okay, we've had uh, we've had a. I, she doesn't want to hear any predictions or any theories because she thinks it's going to spoil it. Because evidently, I'm a genius and I can figure out everything that's going to go on in a TV show. So, uh, but if we talk about it now, you're going to fucking forget that we talked about this, mm. right? Yeah, you're going to forget about what we talked about until it comes up, and, and then you're going to be like, oh. Okay, you have five minutes to discuss your theories. Hey. Um, okay, so one thing that the Duffer Brothers did say is that uh, they're going to be explaining the origins and more information about the Upside Down in That's season good. five. Which is cool. They're going to say, like, where it came from, how it became, what it yeah, is. Yeah, so unlike Walking Dead. Where you're just like, oh, where did it start? Yeah, so they're going to do that. Um, let me see. Oh, I heard there might be a Steve and Dustin spinoff. Okay. Because they're little, which is a weird pairing, but they're hilarious together. They're great when he do, like, does the hair. <laughs> um, I'm trying to go for things that aren't like my theories. Um, uh, okay, cool. So there's one, uh, one theory is that Will is the villain. 
because he's still connected to the upside down every time he has a little thing comes down to what uh, what some people are saying is his that little thing his little pain his little you know his little <laughs> Peter Tangle you know what I mean the, like the little Spidey sense but we already uh, know it's Vecna well it, it is but uh, basically what they're saying is because uh, so at the end of season four when Vecna gets mm-hmm. thrown out of the building and he like Mike Myers is him, his himself out out of the fucking frame and they don't find his body so basically um, the they say if Vecna's body was destroyed then Will could take over Vecna's like soul or essence like so you know what I mean so I, that seems like kind of a lame hey guys yeah well it would be him to take over his essence um, well he already did say he's alive he's hurt. But he's alive. (laughs) Um, Another theory is that Vecna is Eleven's father. Vecna didn't seem old enough to be. Well, he he was in. Like looking at him when he was the nurse or whatever he was. One or whatever, yeah. No, when he was like at the facility. She was probably what? Like she was supposed to be 10, 11, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, she was supposed to be 10. Yeah. He looked like he would have been in his early 20s. I think they did it up like that, but he, I honestly think he looked like late 30s. Oh, really? Yeah. Just, the, I, I don't know, his skin tone, maybe late 30s, early 40s. You know who 40s he even. actually looks like to me? Who? Uh, the DJ that died, uh, Av- Avicii. Avicii, Avicii or, or yeah, Avicii, whatever. yeah. Yeah, I can see <laughs> that too. Him. Just like the the meth version. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, it could okay. be like a Vader Luke well, kind no. of thing. Well, I just assumed. <sighs> what do we know about Eleven's mom and how she got pregnant? We don't. We just know we she was pregnant. We don't really know about the dad. So we that just, hasn't been explained yet. We just yet. know that. So was. <laughs> Was it a lie that her mom was in that facility doing testing that happened to involve no, no, drugs? No, 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 no. She, she uh, went into that testing facility, I think, willingly. I think that's what... So she, that is truthful. Yeah, so, so that's she why went she there, was all LSD'd But she's out not all fucked up in the brain totally because of that, but more so because of the shock therapy they ended up doing so she wouldn't... Yeah, all the MK Ultra stuff and all that. So she got raped... By one, and then there's the connection between one well, and I mean, eleven. You know he's already fucking crazy and already weird because he's you know Henry Henry Creel. He's like from he's the kid that was back. You know what I mean? That that killed his mom and dad. He fucking and likes spiders, huh? Who likes spiders? Yeah, Black Widows. Ugh. Yeah, that, right. that that that. That's how like yeah. Uh-uh. So uh, there's no telling. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is one big thing that, um, okay, so Eddie could still be alive in the Upside Down. And the reason why, because, okay, if you notice in the beginning of, uh, of, all the, of all the seasons, they start out with the D&D, uh, yeah. like, game or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, and then that monster in the... Exactly, right? So the Demogorgon was in the first one, and then the Mind Flayer was in the second one, mm-hmm. and then... Who was third? I, that's why the third one is, season is weird. I think that one didn't have it. I could be wrong, but um, and then fourth Vecna, and then the fourth one they said it was Vecna because Eddie said Vecna, right? But if you watch that scene again, um, it, it says Vecna lives, not just it's Vecna. Like the, Eddie goes, uh, Vecna's alive, or says something to that effect, and um, and Mike, it like it's going, it's like a shot going down the the table where everyone's like, oh, what the fuck, Bowie? He's like, no, Cass killed him. Cass in D and D is Vecna's vampire lieutenant, and uh, it says it's mentioned at the beginning of season four during the D and D campaign with Eddie and the Hellfire Club. And in D and D lore, Cass betrays and kills Vecna. So there's more to it than just hoping the metalhead returns. You know what I mean? So I don't know because I, he got he got bit up by those little bat things by bats. So what, he's going to be a bat? Vampire bat. Like, vampire bat. That, like, you know what I mean? Like, so you they think get he's going to come back as Dracula? Also in some sort, I think there was like a... I mean, that's pretty metal. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, it could work with the story. And um, I think there was some promo material that showed Eddie 
or showed showed one of the characters like what they did for the promo materials they had a picture of the main character and then in the background what's going on and you see in the background there's like the mind flayer and like this kind of silhouetted but accented shadowy figure that looks kind of, like you could take it as like that you know what i mean so okay, that's a theory maybe um in season five, the Thessal Hydra could be a big bad in season five. Because um, Nancy, when she saw her vision, like when, you know, when Vecna made her, like, you're going to go back and tell this. Yeah. She said uh, she saw a huge monster in her vision uh, from Vecna saying that it had, you know, a huge monster. And then Will's uh, drawing that he, you know, gaily gave to uh, Mike. Yeah, it's like, oh, but, you know, oh, tell me to draw it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, but it was a multi-headed... My tingly penis head told me to draw <laughs> yeah, this. exactly. This is the gift from dickhead. Um, but, uh... Poor Willie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, but the, the picture that he drew for Mike ha- was, like, a beast with, like, a bunch of different heads, and it was, like, the four of them fighting it. So that could be, like, a foreshadowing. Hydra. Yeah, and the Thessal Hydra was mentioned in season one. Like Thessel. Yeah, the Thess- the Thessel has a... Um, okay. Also, there's a theory that Will created Hawkins uh, in the Upside Down as a way to cope being there. So that's why... Because if you look at so the... So upside- Hawkins isn't real? No, no. Created Hawkins in the Upside Down. So because if you... if you if, When Vecna first goes to the Upside Down, it's just mountains and creatures and, like, whatever. So in order for... That's why, like, Castle Byers was there and, you know, and all the mom's house and, the, you know, yeah. so, like, I, th- like, there's a theory going on that Will just created that in his mind in the whole thing and it. Yeah, but everyone else sees it, too. Well, yeah, but. The every, library. No one else went in there besides Vecna in, or, or Will. So everyone went in there after Will did. So, I mean, that's kind of an interesting theory, like how Will is a bigger part of this whole, you know, evil plot. Um, there's a theory that Karen Wheeler, so Nancy's mom, the one who was trying the to whore. fuck a 17-year-old, um, is Alice Creel, the sister, so Henry Creel's sister, which is Vecna. Henry Creel is Vecna. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can see like the age. Okay, yeah, so okay. uh, she, so uh, it says timeline wise, it checks out because uh, Henry Creel's sister was born in the 1940s, so she would be about 40 in the 80s. So I mean, That's age weird wise, to think. I know, Being right? Born yeah. in the 40s. Yeah, exactly. And so the timeline wise, it could work out, and also those promo promo materials that I was talking to you about with mm-hmm. Eddie and the whole thing. There was a promo material promo material that came out that had so basically the way the promo materials were was it showed it was like a you know artist rendition of the main character and then like the building or the the area that most identified with that character mm-hmm. and so the promo material that came out for um, for Karen Wheeler was her just kind of you know like standing there with her fucking perm and then the creepy Victor Creel house. Why would that have anything to do with her? She'd never been there. There was no, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just kind of a weird, why would you put that at the house? Because she's just going to go after that kid. (laughs) I mean, she spans ages because she has the older husband. Yeah. And it would be cool rewatching it. Remember there was like a quick little, little blurb. I don't remember who was saying it. Um, but they were narrating about her yeah. saying that she, she basically like that she's the typical suburban housewife yeah. who's unhappy, who married an older man. Yeah. I remember there that. was more to that. And I'd be curious to like see now if that we, what we know, anything yeah. else yeah. makes like, cause at that time we're probably Clicks like, okay, it didn't like, really make uh, sense. Yeah, okay. Whatever. She's an unhappy woman. Mm-hmm. It's like, maybe it'll mention like there's some kind of clue yeah. to that link. Okay. Yeah. Cause we don't really know anything about her past. I don't think other than what's mentioned there. So that could be a cool thing. Um, there's okay. There's a couple of uh, there's, there's a uh, theory that Callie or eight, you know, the, the other mm-hmm. one that made shit up with oh, her mind. She's annoying. Yeah. Uh, that she's going to have a bigger role in defeating Vecna in season five. I don't think so. I, 
I watched, uh, there was something that came up and everyone, I guess, said uh, the most useless characters in this show. And it was that group picture of all of them walking out of the yeah. building. Yeah. It's like, oh, we don't want to be noticed. Why do you have a fucking eight foot yeah. mohawk dick? Yeah, I think everyone's like, that was kind of the annoying group of people. We don't, that was, I want nothing. I think that I was supposed them. to be a spinoff. That was the, the pilot to a spinoff. But it was but so it, yeah. like irksome and just like. Ugh, so they're all these characters are terrible. Yeah, I mean, they're, like her power is kind of cool. Callie's annoying. Yeah, she just she seems just like your typical like I'm just an angry woman, angst, angsty fucking teen, yeah. whatever. <laughs> um, so I hope that's uh, I hope that isn't a part of it, but it's something brought up. Another one is um, it's all a game and it's just a D and D campaign, and like this the- is all their imagination. I hope they don't go with exactly. that because that's I hate when shows uh, do it's that. Like, no, it's like, oh, this was all just pretending. It comes back to that first night when they're like, and when she opens the door, yeah, fifteen past. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, come on, twenty more minutes, mom. Blah, blah, blah. We've been playing for ten hours. Yes, yeah, you've been playing for ten hours. <laughs> but then, and I'm like, how is that not possible? Or how is that possible on a school night, they said. But it must it have been Sunday, Sunday night. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, another one that I really fucking hope it's not is time travel. Um, but That's what 2023 is going to be? The, the, the season five. Like the, the whole... <laughs> God, God, let's go back to 2019. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so that this is all based on like time travel or whatever because... Um, because having the clocks involved in, with Vecna's thing and also the date in the Upside Down is frozen. So the date in the Upside Down is November 6, 1983, the exact day that Will w- went missing mm-hmm. into the Upside Down. So that could be a – but I really fucking hope that they don't mm-hmm. – because everything is like some time travel bullshit now. It's like, come on, dude. That's how Endgame in well, Avengers – Well, it's because you know I mean? that's how they're, they're – it's easy to link things that way. By just saying, like, yeah, it's, it's a cop an easy out to out. me. That, like, that's why I'm saying I fucking hope it's not. <laughs> and then the last thing is, what do you think is going to happen with Max? Because Henry said that all of his victims are with him in his mind. Like when he's talking to Eleven, like in the in the laboratory or whatever, he goes, they're all still with me right in here. Wait, who? Or uh, Vecna. When he oh. was, uh, sorry, uh, one. There's so many fucking names for him. But when they're in the laboratory and he's like one. talking to her, he, he says, they're all still with me up here. And um, all the memories, all, all of his victims. So like his dad, his mom, he his remembers sister, his victims. he remembers they all they're all still with me in my head. So do you think Max could like be in his consciousness? And like then her soul or, you know, her, like, whatever, because she's not awake Internally punching him? <laughs> yeah, it's like just fucking ripping off vein by vein. <laughs> I mean, they really could go any direction with that. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's a it's an awesome show, and, it, like, I'm so glad that I we wanna, watched it because there's so many things that we could talk I wanna about. I want to know how <laughs> high... The duffers were. <laughs> yeah, and could you imagine, like, sitting down at the table to kind of go through the different storylines... We're going to make a kid's show about D&D with blood and gore and breaking bones. And you know they're way nerds at heart because during that show we were watching, uh, it basically, (laughs) one of the kids was like, yeah, because adults, because uh, they're like, adults oh yeah, play D&D. why, yeah, exactly. why were they not playing D and D in the in like season four? And he's like, yeah, because because uh, adults don't play that. And they were like, what do you mean adults don't play that? And I'm like, they don't have girlfriends. Oh yeah, no. Um, but uh, I heard uh, uh, I, I wa- I've watched a bunch of Stranger Things like YouTube content and like you know on the Netflix channel and Stranger Things channel and whatever. And there was one that like, where they actually had like a couple of them play an actual D&D campaign for an hour. And like, it's pretty, it's kind of funny. Like it seems intense and there's a lot involved. Well, basically like the main person makes a campaign and makes, this is where the land is, is what kind of the story is. And this is the villain and you know, whatever. And you don't find out until later, but, um, but, uh, and then everyone just kind of makes their moves and does. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like risk. It's, it's like a big, like a version yeah, of that. Yeah, I'm saying, it's not like a, just a casual, let's just sit down it's and play. It's not Monopoly. It's not, no, you know what I mean? It's not, not fucking sorry. It's like, it's intense, like very, like into it. But I mean, you know, I've always been like, no, those are a bunch of fucking nerds who play D&D. But like, I'm a fucking nerd that likes Marvel and Star Wars and fucking all this shit. So like, I'm not saying that I'm opposed to now. Mm-hmm. Now seeing someone else explain it and not just passing it off is like, oh, that's some fucking nerd shit. Like... Kind of, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but if I do come to you and I say, let's play some D&D, 
don't immediately say yes because I need to like back into the corner and slowly out and run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> just fucking Homer Simpson yourself into the yep. bushes. <laughs> yep. Out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I figure I think I'm good. Is there anything else you wanted to say on the Stranger Things stuff? Uh, I think we're good on that. You guys will definitely cover it on Wednesday, yeah. like in detail, season by season. So. Oh yes. Oh yes. Um, but I I do have to say that I it sucks because we everyone wanted uh, Nancy to be with Jonathan after that, like after that first season, yeah. Because everyone hated Steve and he was a douche, right? Yeah. Now everyone wants her to get back with Steve, yeah. like because yeah, he's he's the cool one of the coolest characters. It's like him and him and Dustin. Jonathan just seems creepy, so I know. Yeah. <sighs> hey guys, we here at Till Death Podcast realize that with everything opening up. You might need some new clothes to show off in public. That's scary. I know. But you can rest assured that we've got your back. We have high quality merch and fair prices so you can support your new favorite podcast without breaking the bank. We have a bunch of items to choose from, like this shirt, which is my personal favorite. Oh, it's upside down. See, we got this. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Or, also, this one for the ladies. For my lady and punch myself in the ball. There we go, it's our old paint splat shirt. We also have tanks, sweatshirts, hoodies, stickers, yoga pants, beach towels, and even fanny packs. Like this one right here. So just head over to teespring.com slash stores and use the promo code no more mask and you'll get 15% off your entire order. That's no more mask for 15% off. So what are you waiting for? Just do it. Just do it. Go get one. They're awesome. Do it. Also, head over to solo.to slash till death podcast for all things till death and how to stay up to date with all of our content. Babe, babe, thought laundry was your job. Get all this merch out of my house. See what I mean? Okay, so we're going to do some would you rathers. We haven't right. done them in a while, and I got. 3,001 Would You Rather questions. I actually bought a book at Barnes & Noble. <laughs> I know. I was so shocked Here, that you, you were sh that you were uh, shopping at Barnes & Noble. And I, saw the, <laughs> I saw the alert come across my phone. Like Barnes hey, & Noble? Did you just shop at Barnes & Noble? Because no. my credit card thought it was a fraud thing. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Did you just shop at Barnes & Noble? I'm going to read you the exact text. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Did you buy a book? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant like the alert I got from the credit card company. Oh. I was like, did you just shop at Barnes oh, & Noble? And okay. I was like, did I? <laughs> That's why yeah. I was like, did you buy a book? <laughs> Watch some Stranger Things. You're okay with D&D. You start buying books. Yeah, pick whatever one you want in there. All right. And put a little, um, a little thing on the top of the page so I can go back and put a little dot next to it. Like, what am I doing? I already asked it. No, just put like just fold the, the top of the page so I okay. can go back and mark um, it later. Gosh, so these are dumb. <laughs> you no, know, there's a bunch. There should be only like two hundred. <laughs> um. All right. How about this? Uh, lose your hearing or your hair? Oh. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Either. So if if I lost my hearing. There's a lot of bullshit that I wouldn't have to deal with. But then if I lost my hair, like, it's just hair on the top of your head. Okay, what what's the stipulation? It's just like yeah, I'm just hair, saying just hair, your or hair. Facial hair. I'm just saying your hair hair. My hair hair. Okay. Um because if I lost all the hair, I wouldn't have to deal with weird butt hairs and you know, ball hairs. So I mean th there's a plus to that. But also, um I can always like I'm I'm going for hair because yeah, you can yeah. wear a wig. Yeah, having There's wear cool a wig wigs. or have a you know bald head, it's still you know fine with me. And eleven made it okay for women to have bald heads. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you're gonna go with hair? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Give up French fries or cheeseburgers? French fries, because okay. I can still get other types of fried potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Same here. Give up alcohol. Too. Or soda. 
I've already given up soda. No, it's fucking soda, because soda does nothing for you. It just tastes good. Oh, my gosh. I really want a cold Coke right now, though. Uh, Zevia? Ugh. No. <laughs> um, eat ice cream, but it always gives you a brain freeze. Or drink coffee, but it always burns your tongue. I think eat ice cream, but it always gives you a brain freeze because there's a solve to that. You just... Yeah, hold, but after hold. every bite, you want to do that? How unenjoyable is that? Yeah, but then you wouldn't have to eat so much, and it'd be like, okay, cool, I have a couple of tastes of it. But yeah. with coffee, you can't just heal a burned fucking <laughs> mouth. You can't like, just, yeah. I'm going to enjoy my nice cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, as you're driving, you're yeah. like, oh. Uh, like, you, like this question is dumb. Okay. Have 70 cars or a mansion? Really? Okay. If I don't have a mansion, then I can't house 70 cars. I don't know. I'd rather have a mansion. Uh, if I need see. a car, I'll just rent out one of the rooms. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Mansion or 70 cars? Mansion. That's easy. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. Damn. This one's just fine. Sprinkles or nuts? <laughs> for you, it's sprinkles. Oh, for sure. Sprinkles. <laughs> um, I, I'll have to go with sprinkles because I don't trust that someone's going to put the right nuts on there. I'm allergic to some of them. Or it might be, you know, man nuts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> never sweat or never be hungry. Oh. <sighs> Okay, I want never sweat because to quench your your uh, hunger mm -hmm. sometimes is the best. You know what I mean? You're like I'm so hungry, and you take that first bite of that stadium pizza. True. <sighs> okay, if it would be a harder question if it was never sweat or never be full. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Let me ask a couple. Okay, just because that. For me, sweating, like it was like, just oh, all this sweating. Page? Yeah, okay. pretty much. Well, like most of the left and then a couple on the right. Um, because sweating for me, like during a workout, it yeah. doesn't cool me down. It, I normally have, yeah, I normally have sunscreen on. So when I come home from work, I go right to exercising and then it gets in my eyes. So yeah. it's super annoying. Um,. Would you rather eat off of a toilet or out of a trash can? <laughs> you knew I was going to come with the heat. <laughs> well, I mean, because it doesn't specify that's like out of the bowl or on the rim or... Eat off of a toilet. Yeah. So I'm guessing So it's what if it's just like the toilet seats... Or, out or I mean, of a trash like can. the seats down and then like the tops down. True. Then I eat off the top yeah. versus the I'm trash can. Um... Never, ever have to sleep again or always uh, get a perfect eight hours. I like dreaming. So, you know what I mean? If you don't have to sleep, like you just, that, you just I'm assuming you, you don't have to, like you don't feel tired. So yeah. that'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, like, I like that one. Um, be a vampire. Well, not really, because I'd be during the day, I'd be up too. <laughs> Uh, would you rather be a spider or be a snake? A slippery snake. <laughs> Ugh. Um. It kind of depends on what kind of snake and what kind of spider, because I'd obviously want to be like the best kind, so that I like not get eaten by other snakes and spiders. Anaconda, brown widow. Ugh. Or, or wolf spider. Ew. One of those fucking. <laughs> Those big ones in Australia? Oh, God. Okay. Would you rather eat a tarantula or eat an eel? Eel. Eel. <laughs> yeah. Eel all the way. Okay, there's one that I saw on... Um, I think maybe we have during sushi. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's, uh, there's one that I saw on social media that uh, made me laugh. It was these guys asking this woman, and uh, these, these two chicks, and they were completely ridiculous with their fucking answer. Okay, would you rather... Um, would you rather have to fight a chicken every time you get in your car? Um, or fight, was it a bear? Or fight a lion once a year. 
The chicken. Exactly. Like, these girls were like, oh, I'd rather fight a lion. And the guys were like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, th- like, oh, yeah. Have you ever seen them? Like, they were like, the, the chicken pecs, they'll get you, blah, blah, blah. And it's like. And the lion? Yeah. How bite? about the lion bite? <laughs> yeah. And they were like, oh, well, don't underestimate me. And I'm like, oh, my God, you're fucking so dumb. You're so. I'd be like, guess dumb. what we're having for dinner tonight? Crack. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what we're having tonight? Dumb bitch. That's what we're having tonight. Roasted. <sighs> After <an> watching, <laughs> walking, rewatching Walking Dead again, yeah. I saw that she held the chicken under her arm and then she broke its legs. Oh, yeah. Like, come at me now, pecker. Bitch. Yeah, like, all, like what are you going to do? Just fucking open the door and then they'll fucking come at you. Yeah, and I'm going to have a bag and a bat. Yeah, it, well, it doesn't say that you can't <laughs> have weapons. With the little dodger bat that we have yeah. in the car. Bat, bat. Yeah, it's like, okay, if I'm going to have to fight a chicken, there's going to be blood and feathers in my car every day anyway, so just fucking open the door. <laughs> okay, dead, bye, let's go to work. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> live in eternal darkness or live in eternal light? I know the answer to that one for you. But see, I totally <laughs> read that as, like, darkness, like hell. Or light, heaven. Yeah. You know what I mean? True, but it's like always dark or always light. Like, so Alaska or not Alaska? <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, the suicide rate would be like way sky high living in that. Mm-hmm. Date someone with long hair or short hair? Well, you short hair. One. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Butthole. Um... Uh, go to a fancy place that's boring or a dodgy place that's fun. I don't. I think a British wrote this because a dodgy place. Yeah. What's a what's sketchy. the definition of like a basically like sketchy? Like so, like a like a dive bar or a fucking a country club. <laughs> it totally depends, like how sketch it is and yeah, what true. like what level of sketch are we yeah, talking I'm not going about? To like meth heads. Yeah. yeah. Um. Cry when you're happy or laugh when you're sad. <laughs> that is just weird. Free coffee or free movies? Free coffee. <laughs> uh, be rich, be rich and ugly, or poor and good looking. Poor and good looking. Yeah. You can always improve your economic status. Mm-hmm. Only fans. Uh, <laughs> Well, I mean, you could be ugly and have only fans. Um, <sighs> would you rather have a gap between your front teeth or be missing a back tooth? Dude, I had a gap between my front teeth growing up. That's why I had braces. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> a small gap you jerk <laughs> wasn't like oh here's my like extra space for a tooth <laughs> wasn't like you can suck a dick through your front tooth <laughs> be more like <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <Hey>, ow <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> my dick is not a toothpick okay <laughs> could you imagine getting it stuck like a piece of floss <laughs> <sighs> Let me try to rip this out. It's like a splinter. <laughs> um, uh, have a small cat or a big cat? How about murder the cat? How about no cat? Did, by the way, did you see the video I sent you about the epileptic? Ep- yeah. Epileptic? Yeah. It's like, I'm going cat? to hell for laughing at this, but I mean. The cat was like. Ah! Okay. Because I had a dog who had like seizures and stuff when I was young. Sandy, the, you know, the, the, so, I mean, it is sad, but it was, it's still funny looking like, like. I'm not a cat fan. So uh, I was uh, like, mm -mm. uh, kill it. Sorry, (laughs) y'all. Cats are fucking annoying. They are weird ass fucking creatures. Um, (laughs) would you rather have diarrhea or constant vomiting? Diarrhea? Yeah. Cause it's not the continuous. I used to have both, so. Uh, <laughs> get married or stay single. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to throw this book at your <laughs> fucking head. Um, have telekinesis or mind control? Mind control. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, because then you could move shit with your mind technically anyways. <laughs> Just, hey, you move that for me. Hey. <laughs> Do things. <laughs> <laughs> this is not these are not the droids you're looking for um let me see learn Spanish or French mm, I don't see myself ever utilizing French so I'll go with learning Spanish better yeah because we live in California so it's basically Mexico uh, pretty much you live anywhere in the United States now yeah true um okay live by a lake or by an ocean like by an ocean <laughs> Sorry. Uh, like. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan of the beach. I, I really am not. I mean, they have kind of beaches at lakes sometimes. It's yeah, just like mud, your typical, but like, I just, coastal. I don't like sharks. Sharks creep me out. How? There's less creatures in salt a lake. Salt water. It's yeah. usually annoying people Unless at the beach. Unless it's like enough salt to where you can float in the water, like the Dead Sea or whatever. There's a seaweed that touches cool. your foot and then you think it's a it's a shark or something and it freaks you out and you have to run out of the ocean. There's rip currents. And then you'll get stung by a jellyfish and they'll have to pee on you. Yeah, and that's like a relationship killer for sure. Maybe I won't want to live by the ocean. No. <laughs> Matt, my old, uh, my old drummer. Yeah. The, the one we had on the, yeah, he had to do that. Uh, he was dating, you know, the little, the mm-hmm. one with the tiny hands. Um, yeah, he she got stung by a jellyfish so he had to pee on her on the beach. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Yeah. Because it's like the, the, the acid. acid? The, yeah, the acid cuts it or something like that. Or it's just a funny old wives tale and men are like, so I'll piss on my wife. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, it worked. All right. Well, we got Mexican train. We to have get Mexican to, train. And so we, we should probably wrap this have up. Mexican food. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mexican food train. Um, Mexican train is chugga, a cool chugga, Domino's choo-choo. game. Um, it is horribly racist, evidently. Um, no, it's not. It's just a cool uh, Domino's game, and uh, we're going to beat her parents we at get, it. We get violent because it's like everyone yep. gets super competitive. I need to bring the speaker so I can play Jeopardy. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay. Cool. So um, thank you guys for sticking around for another episode. Uh, you, If you didn't watch Stranger Things, you probably didn't catch this episode, but... Um, if you do and you like this one, uh, me and Sean and uh, a guest at Movies America uh, from Twitter, he's going to be joining us. He did the Mobsters, Mobster movie live stream already. So I think we're going to try and do like a movie or show live stream maybe once a month or something like that. I think it'll be fun to kind of break up the just politics stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing that on Wednesday. We also have another um, actually tomorrow night. Um, this is not going to come out before tomorrow. So, um, if you back on Sunday, yeah, back <laughs> on Sunday, um, we, uh, uh, meet Sean and I are going to be guests on a, uh, it's called the culture council podcast. It's a little newer. Sorry. I just, um, and a culture council podcast. Um, they're on YouTube. Go check it out by this, by the time this comes out, Sean and I would have already done that podcast. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, or it already was pretty cool. Either way you look at this, uh, <laughs> I hate doing the, like I'm used to the live stream stuff. Yeah. So you like now that you're doing that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that, that was, that was fun. Uh, and then, um, I think, uh, I think the beginning of September, uh, I guess Sean, it got us uh, a guest that is an ex stripper turned podcaster. So that definitely, you know, made her happy. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but no, she like, she's on our Twitter and whatever. And she like comments and stuff. So, I mean, she has cool engagement with that and she already has a podcast. So I, it, interesting. That's cool. Yeah. I worked at a, I worked at a strip club, not stripping. I was a bar back at a, gentlemen's club at a where the women were strippers i didn't work at a gay strip club so i think it'll be funny to exchange stories of like weird shit that happened and um uh but yeah i think that'll be cool and uh go check out the stranger things live stream that'll probably be they'll be up for rewatch for a while um go check out solo.to slash till death podcast for all of our links uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe uh, down below. Uh, helps out with the algorithm and getting us to monetization. And then um, check out bit 
dot a bit dot ly slash till death podcast merch uh, to check out all of our merch that we got going on. I've been working a lot on the whiskey capitalist merch, so I got to kind of get back around to the till death stuff. I'm, I'm only one man. Um, but uh, and then, yeah, so go check that out. Um, go check out solo.to slash till death studios for any digital design work that you need done. Um, been getting a little bit better at it, trying to, you know, broaden my horizons with it. Um, and then check out solo.to slash the whiskey capitalist, uh, for all the links for that podcast. If you, if you like more pop, uh, more po- politics and kind of what's going on, <laughs> we, uh, we, we kind of go over what's, you know, going on on Twitter on that day or the past couple of days and just kind of it's more, you know, uh, immediately relevant. And so that's kind of fun. We have, you know, guests every once in a while and just talk shit, and drink whiskey um, or kombucha when I don't really feel like whiskey and Coke. Um, so, yeah, go check that out. Uh, Bit.ly slash uh, the whiskey capitalist merch. Um I believe it's the Whiskey Capitalist merch. The Whiskey Capitalist podcast merch. I don't know. One of those. There's the fucking <laughs> links down in the description. I'm just talking. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think I'm about good. Was there anything else you had? I think we're good. No, we're good. All righty. Again, thank you guys very much for sticking around. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye. Later. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for watching a clip of the Till Death podcast. Make sure you uh, click the subscribe button. It's right down here. The minute you do, he's going to be naked. Watch. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, I'll man spread a little bit for you. Oh, but before that, while you're looking, oh, you know what? I don't want to take your attention away. Click a video. There. Or there. She's not going to man spread. Or get naked. Perfect. <laughs>